Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to River Rock Zoo. My name is Savannah and today I'm building the habitat for our American bison. Um, I was super excited to add the American bison to the zoo because it's an animal that obviously fits really well being that it's from the, the area that the zoo is supposedly supposed to be located in. Um, I will say I did struggle with this habitat actually because when I, I get to adding foliage and stuff, I realize just how little the American bison actually like in the game. Um, and I, I'll apologize right now. My, my cat's come over um, and reminded me that his food bowl is empty, although it was you know full 20 minutes ago. He doesn't believe that that's good enough. So if you hear him meowing, that's what he's doing. He's reminding me that I'm, I'm talking to you guys and I'm not filling his bowl. Um, anyway, so when I got to the, the foliage part of the American bison habitat, um, the uh, game says that they really only like reeds and uh, yeah, reeds and grasses. There's no trees, um, nothing, nothing big as far as foliage goes. And, you know, American bison are grassland species, so they, they do, you know, survive in, in the grassland areas or grassland biomes, but it's not that, you know, they really just like trees. There certainly are trees in the area that they live in. So I made an executive decision. Um, I actually use trees that belong to the um, African biome, but I'm just kind of pretending there's some sort of oak or some sort of um, you know, American tree. Um, but let me know what you think when we get to that part. I think it turned out really well. I just don't think habitats that don't have any trees look very well. I think the, the foliage adds so much um, to, to the habitat. Um, but anyway, what I'm doing here is making the main kind of platform viewing area. I found a reference picture online that's just, just some like concept art for some zoo. Um, and it doesn't look exactly like the reference picture. Basically, the only thing I took was the fact that it's circular, the fact that it's raised, and then the kind of roofing structure that I put in place with all the um, pieces of wood. But um, I end up turning this bottom section into their um, uh, covered shelter. Um, I make little doors so that they can go in here, and it works really well. I did have to open the doors rather wide, though, when I first did it. Um, the bison are, are so large that they weren't able to actually traverse the terrain into the center here. Um, but I do, like I said, do end up making this their shelter and I'm overall pretty happy with how it turns out. Um, I will say the guests don't seem to use it as much as I wanted them to. Um, they do use it and do recognize it as somewhere that they can go to view the animals, but they were randomly standing off like on the ramp on the way up and looking at them from super far away which doesn't make any sense to me but that's how the game wanted them uh to work i guess uh but everything else about the habitat does work it's all traversable by the staff it's all traversable by the animals um and then like i said the guests can use it they just tend to view it from a um uh a, a different spot uh every once in a while and then because this is circular, but it's not exactly centered on the paths, um, I did have a hard time um, with this. I think you'll see, I don't think I cut it out. I did try to cut out a lot of the tedious, repetitive stuff um, so that you guys are kind of seeing how I start it and then seeing how it gets duplicated over. But this right here, I, I started and I made it and, and then when I duplicated it to the other side, it wasn't exactly symmetrical. So then when I go to duplicate it over and over again, um, in a circle, it didn't really come out great. So I did have to split it up and just do the different parts of it together. So I apologize if this is a little bit tedious. We'll get through this uh, semi-quickly and then um, move on. I do go with a slightly different design. Anyway, um, for a little bit of an update, I think I mentioned before in a past video that I am waiting on um, a new desk. I ordered a desk from Ikea. I'm working on setting up a whole new um, area for my computer. Currently, I'm downstairs in the dining room and I'm turning one of my guest rooms into kind of more of a, a home office gaming area. And like I said, I didn't have a desk, so I ordered that. But with everything that's going on in the world right now, Ikea has been closed. so. It's taken 30 something days to ship, which is fine. I'm in no rush. So 
I'm just waiting um, until that gets here and then I'll be all set get set up with um, I'm looking at building a, a new computer um, as well as actually getting a microphone I, I do know I mentioned when I first started doing my voiceovers that I don't really have a proper setup so that's why it, it might sound either echoey or far away or I know it, it kind of cuts in and out every once in a while so I do apologize for that um, but looking at making those upgrades um, so hopefully those those I'm able to implement soon and they are um, improvements that you guys like as of uh, when I'm recording this now which is uh, Thursday Eve, or not Thursday, uh, Tuesday evening, uh, the day before this video will go live. Um, we have 180 subscribers on the channel and I'm super excited by that. I can't say thank you guys enough. When I started making videos, again, this is just a hobby for me. I do it for fun. I do it because I like making the videos. I like building in the uh, game and I like sharing what I'm doing with you guys. Um, but I, I never actually thought people would subscribe I thought people would just like and you know maybe comment every once in a while but um, I am I'm super excited that people are enjoying what I'm doing and interacting and uh, leaving comments and everything like that so thank you thank you thank you um, yeah so 180 subscribers is far more than I thought I would ever get um, ever uh, but again still new at this still trying to make improvements along the way so as always comment suggestions feedback anything you want to let me know uh, leave down below in the comments leave a like and then um, check out my Instagram and my Twitter the links are down below as well I'm far more active on those uh, platforms as far as responding to comments and, and posting little updates of what I'm doing and stuff like that anyways I apologize if that was a bit of a tangent and a bit of a ramble um, I uh, am a little crunched for time, which I feel like I say every time, but I'm um, trying to keep focused on what we're doing. So this is the up, up, upper, wow, why did I struggle with that so much? The upper level of the viewing platform. Um, so I'm just adding kind of sort of just some decorative elements as, as well as benches and then the education boards and the um, donation bins. I do add, but I believe I do those when I'm not recording. And then on here, I just add a little bit of a centerpiece with these um, New World planters um, and give it a little bit of greenery um, in the picture here. But other than that, the only other thing I add to this habitat is again all the foliage with the, the trees and the grasses and things. Um, I do add the animals in and there are some cinematic shots at the very end of the animals and the babies running all around. Um, and then I do add a cover on the bridge that goes over the other side of the habitat. You'll see that in um, just a moment. Um, just a little bit of sunshade for people that want to view the animals from over there. Um, but I am going to go, I'm going to go um, feed my cats so they can stop pestering me. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy this one. Please do let me know what you think down below. Um, I would love to hear from you. I would love to... Um, hear your suggestions, what you think I could have done differently. If I'm doing anything that you think I could do better or could do differently, let me know because again, although I've been playing the game for quite a while, um, certainly new to making videos. So if you guys want to see all the details of everything I've been cutting out, um, let me know. I'll leave those in. I do try to keep the videos to about 30 minutes or so, so I, I hope that that is um, kind of a good length. I know that's when I watch videos. Um, I, I mean, to be honest, I'll watch uh, things that are much, much longer than that. But on average, you know, 30 minutes to an hour or so. Um, since this isn't a let's play, this is, um, you know, just a speed build. Um, but again, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks.